Hi, this video will go over the parameters into the clear FX signals indicator for MetaTrader 4. Uh, you're going to have, let me open up the platform here, let me switch over to this screen. Uh, once we've installed the indicator, we can now attach that indicator to a MetaTrader 4 chart. So I have a chart open here of the Euro USD. I'm going to go to the custom indicators pull down here. We're going to go to clear. FX signal so it should appear right here in the list it might be grayed out this gold color actually might be gray on your system uh, depends on which version of MetaTrader 4 you have so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna install this uh, or add this indicator to the chart so simply just hold down the left mouse button on this indicator drag it over to the chart and let go once we let go now we have the ability to set some of the parameters and here is a list of all the parameters that we have for the uh, clear signals indicator. Let's go ahead and take a look at our document. Uh, <clears throat> the first one is relatively intuitive. It is the MA length. It's the number of bars in the MA calculation. Um, and I'll show you the MA once we go ahead and actually complete the attachment to the uh, chart. Uh, the separation here, separation value, this helps set the visual vertical distance between a chart marker and the price bars. So the chart marker will print on a bar above or below the bar. It'll be below the bar and pointing upward if it's a buy signal. It'll be above the bar and pointing downward if it's a sell signal. And this just lets us set the, uh, the distance, separation distance between the bar and its uh, marker. Now, <clears throat> the next parameters here are a buy arrow character and a sell arrow character. They default to number 217 and 218. Now these numbers are actually called wingding numbers. These are the wingding numbers uh, for the font for the character of those arrows. So here is a table of all the wingding characters uh, and their numerical numbers, numerical values and their uh, character representations. So 216 and uh, 217 and 218. 217 is right here, as you can see. It's an upward pointing arrow. 218 is a downward pointing arrow. There's a lot of options here. You can do triangles. You can do solid up and down arrows. You can do X's, uh, dots, uh, stars, uh, circles with hollow centers. Um, so all these options are available to you. You just put in that number for that character, and you'll be able to. Uh, to show that visually. Naturally, uh, enable buy alert sound, enable sell alert sound. That's a true or false value. Uh, you're going to be able to turn on or off an audible alert, the sell sound or a, a buy alert sound, by setting those to false. Uh, the next one we have here is going down the list is the buy alert wave. Buy wave and sell wave, that's what it is. So um, this is the wave file name of the audible alert. Now you're going to want to make sure that that wave file must exist in the sounds folder within your MT4 installation. So if you're running FXDD, uh, it might look like this. Program files 86, FXDD-MetaTrader, and then sound. So right in this folder is where you need to put that sound. Uh, you want to en enable a buy pop-up or a sell pop-up. Those are little pop-up windows when those, when those uh, characters print. Now this is a, an important setting. Do you want to plot the arrow on the open of the bar? This true-false setting lets you control which bar gets the buy-sell chart marker. Um, this indicator bases its buy-sell signal calculations on the close of each bar. If you want the chart marker to plot on the bar that just closed, the bar that generated the signal, this is otherwise known as a signal bar, then set plot on open a bar to false. If you want it, the chart marker to plot on the bar that starts immediately after the signal bar, the live bar, the bar that's just starting to develop, uh, then you set this parameter to true. So let's go ahead and attach the indicator. And we'll zoom out a little bit. So here we go, we have a number of buy and sell signals, and they are plotting right now on the bar following the signal bar. 